Hi guys, welcome to my channel. To kick off this channel, I will be showing y'all how I created my very own faux fur chair. I was inspired by this beautiful chair I saw on Z Gallery, which retailed for $999. Yeah, girlfriend, I was not about to spend that much money on a chair. I absolutely love my chairs. They are a perfect gift for bougie sisters, moms, etc. And the best part is that I literally spent about $50 for the chairs. So if you would like to know how to create these chairs, then please keep on watching. <laughs> So to start off guys make sure you are setting something down on the floor because spray paint does seem to get a little dirty and also make sure you're doing this outside I mean if you guys want to do it inside by all means go ahead I wasn't gonna get my floor sturdy so here I am outside covering my garage floor as well so what I did is I started off by spray painting the edges and you might want to keep in mind that to keep a fair distance from the edges because then if you spray paint very close it will begin to look very droopy and you know what we're going for is a smooth finish which is why I did four coats of spray paint if you guys don't want a very thick layer on the edges then I suggest doing two but no less than two because one does look very patchy also, don't worry if you are painting the cushion because the cushion will be covered by the fur, so there's no need to panic. And here we are, guys. I did only wait about 10 to 15 minutes because this spray paint is a fast drying outdoor spray paint, so it did dry very fast. And as you can see, everything looks smooth. spray painting the back side of this chair nicely because it is for one going to be facing a wall so I'm not really worried about um, facing fur onto there but I am just going to try to make it look nicely with the silver finish because I did like the way it looked and I was thinking about doing the fur on the back but I didn't think it was necessary. And here we are guys, not too shabby. I did start off by spreading my fur out on my carpet and spraying it with some Lysol because as you may know, the stores are quite filthy. I then continued by measuring my fur on my chair just to get an idea of which ways I was going to have to cut or if I had to cut anything. I measured my fur, my angles on my chair, the top side was significantly smaller than the bottom part so I did do some measuring and thankfully two yards was enough for one chair. Here I am cutting off any excess fur at the crease of the chair because my chair did not have a deep crease to tuck in the extra fur. You guys really don't have to do this step if your chair has the room for the extra fur. Mine didn't so I had to cut it. As you guys saw in my intro, I did recycle my fur scraps. You guys can also use any extra fur scraps for decor or for any further projects. 
The fur is just very nice and smooth and just pairs up very well with any food. And here we're just going to tuck in the fur into the crease. Here I will be cutting the top edges of the fur diagonally just so that it can cover the top part of the cushion very well and in order for the top part to look very clean. And then just go ahead and staple down the edges. Also make sure you are stapling as close to the edges as possible so the cushion is not visible. Now that I'm done with the top part, I will be measuring the bottom part and I will be repeating the same strategy that I used for the top part of my chair. So as you guys can tell in the corner of the chair, I did come up short of fur, so all I'm going to do is use a triangular scrap of fur to patch it in and make it seem as if nothing ever happened. Here we are, nothing ever happened, looks great to me. Alright guys, these are the final products. I hope you guys liked it and most importantly that you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you all for watching, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you liked my video hit that like button and comment down below what videos you would like to see next. See you guys next time. Bye.